FOG Andrew here, and the coach here from Family of Gamers. Welcome, War Gamers, to an exciting, awesome episode today. I am proud to present this unboxing. We are unboxing the Star Saga Kickstarter Wave 1. Yeah! So first thing we're gonna unbox, here's a bunch of um, cards. So I think this set is what comes in, in it. So you have your player characters here. You have so many other guys. I think these are all the bad guys. And, and the bad enforcer, what? Sacrilege. You get Aberration. Chovar. The Chovar. So now I'm hoping that the Chovar model looks better because you know how I, I feel about the Chovar. I'm not too crazy about it. These are really nice cards, so the back has a... Uh, Basically has the printing and... And there's two of these, so I guess these are the bad guys. Because I know like Dr. In, like Dr. In, uh, Dr. Lucas is a bad guy. Like in Dungeon Saga, mm -hmm. how there's, um, you have the cards for the bad guys for the uh, Necromancer to play yes. guys. So that and could I, be how that works. And I like it, you know, they're decent and nice quality. You know, Mantic's cards are always pretty good, so... Yeah, they got that new card smell. Yeah, you can smell them. Now, here's the thing. If anybody knows where, we gotta get sleeves. So let us know, because these are pretty big uh, cards to get sleeves in. But I like it. This is your, uh, these are your rule books and whatever here, and they have the feats with them, so. All right, let's get on to the next set of cards. All right, so I think these are the Kickstarter exclusives. Blaine, Hacker, Halftail, Survivor, Kira Nikolovsky, which I know you're looking for, because yes. you always play uh, Adrian, so yes. that's it. And here we go, we're breaking into it. It's the fear from the nameless. So that's some, some good stuff here. Hacker Halftail is uh, in the Warpath universe, so he's uh, making the transition over to Star Saga. And of course, you know, Blaine. He's 460 points if you check that out, All right? So you got little the point scales here. So Blaine is the man. Look at that. He's got two two sets of the wound markers. He's expensive. He's all this stuff. So you get to really actually play Blaine. The right way. So let's move on to what we really came to see. Okay, so now you got four sets of cards, Nexus, Dominion cards, deployable equipment, and psychic powers. So obviously, you know, probably for the Chovar, all the different psychic cards, right? Deployable equipment, the sentry guns, force fields, okay? Minions, all the different type of security guard, live, corporate marines, plague victim, corporate rangers, and corporate rangers with flamethrower. So that looks pretty cool. And here we go, N big chalk pile full of Nexus, Nexus cards. Okay, you're usually the Nexus guy. I, I like to play the game, you usually, usually um, do it. There's a, yeah. new, there's a new mechanic to it. Like, remember in Dungeon Star when we play and the Nexus cards run out? With these, if you run out of cards, you just shuffle them in and do it. There's, there's really no time limit. It's either you get the job done or you're dead. I, I kind of like that, I think it's great. So you have event cards, you got the levels, just like Dungeon Saga. We're gonna have to mix these up. But yeah, nice quality, I like the art. Looks pretty cool, what do you think? Uh, looks pretty swell. Looks sweet, right? And here's the thing, Mantic Points! Yeah. Which is the first Kickstarter we're actually getting Mantic Points. Yeah. So, thanks very much, Mantic! All right, so we got more. Cards, skill cards, mission bonuses, rare items, loot. All right, so you can get more stuff. This reminds me kind of like The Walking Dead. So, uh, rare items. Cool night vision and stuff. I guess this is when you're playing through the campaign. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Mission bonuses, which is, as you play along, these things come in really handy. There's only experimental grav cannon. 
things like that. And I guess the skills, you can, uh, all these cool things, the different skills that you have. So that's pretty cool. New, new cards in there. It's, it's similar to The Walking Dead. So I like that dynamic. I think that's cool. What do you think? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty sweet. We got some custom dice. So it's 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 different than Dungeon Saga instead of a D6. There's still D6s, but right? They're custom and it's symbols. Symbols and stuff. So there's critical hits and there's a exclamation point in them and stuff. So that's part of the game. I like I I like custom dice, I don't know. As a, as a gamer, right? What do you think? Custom dice is just... Looks, Where's looks, that? Reminds me of X-Wing a little bit, like crits and mm -hmm. hits and whatnot. Yeah, we're, we're not too sure how to use them. We're gonna, we're gonna charge into the rule book and figure it out. But yeah, I like custom dice. So we're gonna save the minis for last. But what's nice is you pull this out and check out what you get in here. So, oh, a dice bag. Yes! Yes, yes. with the Star Saga logo. This is, this is awesome. This really is nice. awesome. Right. Uh, we'll go over this in a minute. So, here's your Star Saga booklet. This is the Arias contract. Missions and stuff. Yeah, this is the whole thing. This is, I guess, your background, your fluff and everything, and what Missions. to do. Awesome. Here's the rule book. Yes. Now, I gotta tell you, the one thing I liked about Manta from... A slice of pizza? No, that is, yeah, well, that could be. Um, what I always liked about Mantic was Everything is colorful, everything is nice, and what's great about this is if you want to take it somewhere, you throw that in the bag, it's a nice, nice size, you don't have to worry about everything. So, and here's the thing that looks like the cover, that's, uh, I guess, what we got to get. So it's all quick setup, different, uh, different missions and stuff, that's great, so just, yeah, you know, cut it. So here's the different cards, alright, all the to tokens that we need, and here is the floor panels. So you lay them out, just like Dungeon Saga. Right? They're really, really nice. Right? So you just pop these out and you use them in the, uh, in the game. The There's the pizza, which is part of the flamethrower. Salvaggio's flamethrower. Here's some cool stuff. So here, see, it's, it's, it's one way over here, but when you turn it over, it's the same hallway. It looks like some kind of green, uh, toxic waste fo fog or whatever. So it's, it's pretty cool because you want to be able to use this a few times in the game. And there you go. So now, the difference, if you notice here, take a look at this. When you put a mini in, if you see the squares here, these little stars, they make squares so the guys can move in it a little different. Um, I like that. It's subtle. You'll be able to, you know, use that. It doesn't, it doesn't completely ruin the board. Right. It's not, there's no grid on it. So... Uh, you know, playing Dead Zone so much, we're used to the grid. Here's your range finders, I like that. And just all the different tokens that you'd need. So, eventually we'll pop these out, and we'll start using them in the game. Alright, so we'll start off with the main characters here. We got here, we got Salvaggio, Wrath, the new Wrath. Uh, he's o Ogan, Delinsky, Kirby, and I'm not sure of her name, but this is the... Uh, these are the guys you, I think you could play with in it. We're, like I said, we don't know yet. We're going to work on it. But I got to tell you, so One Piece models, this is Salvaggio the Devil. They look pretty good. I, I like it. I like it a lot. And the detail is good. You know, this is supposed to be more of a board game. But with Mantic doing their, you know, their miniature company coming out with some nice models. Um, oh, look at that. She's great. All right, now here's the four other guys. Wow, look at the Monarch. Looks pretty cool. That's now, 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 I know you hate the Chovar Psychic. I completely hate it. What do you it. think about the new model? Okay, so, let's see. Okay, I'm going to go on record. You ready? The Chovar Psychic, the new one, is totally awesome. Look at it. How could, how could it not be? Look how great he is. And here we go. Here's the doctor. Really good detail, really nice detail. Look at the back here, that's pretty cool. This is like, you're looking like Doc Ock a little bit, right? And I heard that if you just boil them, you wanna move some stuff around. The biggest complaint was people were having about Rat's sword, but I think, uh, I, just, I just bent it a little bit like this and it kinda went where it had to go. So, 
beautiful. Nice, he's, very nice. He's, he's looking nice. Yeah. He, yeah. I'm excited for him. Yeah. So now we got these two sentry guns here, which look a lot better. Here's a little, one of those mines. And here's like a bag of equipment. I think that's for part of a mission and stuff. It's probably got to go there and get a mission. So, you know, we haven't read through the missions yet. All right, so we get a bunch of these guys. Here's the, uh, that's the Ranger with a flamethrower. I guess these are the Rangers. And this is the Marine. The Marines seem to be the ones with the open face. And then the Rangers have like that halo helmet on them. So that's pretty cool. And then we have here, we got some running plague victims. These are pretty cool. I like this, I like this guy. Got it running. It looks like he has a football helmet on. This might be uh, my stand-in for 901 when we play Warpath. But yeah, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. The Mantic, uh, the Mantic, the new Plague and the new GCPS are really nice models. So I guess they use these as uh, those as a basis for these. So what do you think? They're looking pretty nice. I'm loving those Plague victims. They look pretty sweet. Yeah, the Plague victims look really cool. This almost looks like a stage two, you know, that pose. But he's a Plague victim, so it's a little different. And so we're going to get a bunch more minions to put in here so these guys are the security guards these guys these guys and these guys three different poses um it's pretty cool i like uh i like i like, I like them what do you think of these security guards they're pretty nice and then here you have the lab techs so they have their knives and i think this is a shock baton so if you notice they have a nice shock baton there i'm, I'm digging it okay and then of course, we have a few more corporate marines, guys, without the, the faces. So you have a basic starter of a nice GCPS thing. Pretty sweet. There's a lot of these guys. What do you think? They're looking pretty nice. I, I love these uh, lab technicians with the uh, shock baton. Yeah, the shock baton is pretty cool. Something new. And we got your boy, the Aberration, and we don't even have to build it. Mm. It's already put together. Um, you guys have seen this model in a bunch of bat reps and stuff. This is our third one, so now yeah. we can really go to town and be evil and run three aberrations in the list. So here are the doors. I like how you get a nice variety of doors here. You get two different big doors here, and then three different small doors. So I like you get a nice variety of doors here so that they're not all exactly the same. It's nice because uh, this this really when we're playing Dungeon Saga, the doors really make a difference. You got to open the door, you got to go through the door. Nice visual. Do you hey, know what else these are good for? What? This is what I love about these games: the small little details and items. Oh, look, we got bookcases. Some weird, I don't know. I guess they're storage units. Yeah, some tables, counters. Uh, we got desks. It's like a nightstand. Some random boxes and look at that. That is beautiful. Yeah, nice. Ammo uh, rack. Yeah. Gun rack. Gun rack. We got the uh, ammo ammo crates. Yeah, ammo crates. Those are probably like chests. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got like computers and some more boxes over here. And there's a lot of random random stuff. But this is the stuff that makes the games great. It makes the visual of it great. That's like when we're playing Dead Zone and we put out all the different things to make it look good. It just it, it, it enhances the playing experience. It makes it more tree dimensional, I guess you could say. Tree dimensional. Alright, there's so many models we forgot this one, but we're not gonna go over it. But you get another set with the plague victims and the the rangers with the flamethrowers and stuff, so even more models. So these, I think, I'm not exactly sure, but I think these are exclusive to the Kickstarter. And this is what we got. They were supposed to come wave two, wave one. But let's go here. This is a guy, we don't have a card yet. We don't know his name, but he looks awesome. Hacker Halftail. This is The Fear. This is Kira Nikolowski. I guess that's Adrian's uh, sister, maybe. The Survivor, new model, new uh, sculpt for him. And everybody's favorite. Everybody's time traveler, the boss, the big man, the Blaine. He's got some super armor here. It looks like peacekeeper armor, but really like jacked up. 
And you can see Blaine's been in the uh, gym for a while, doing all this stuff. So I have a, I have a few Blaine's, but this looks awesome. This looks very similar to the uh, Warpath one that came with the Warpath Kickstarter, but come on. It's awesome. What do you get? What do you think? Blaine looks amazing, and I'm loving the new Saphir model. Well, right you, are a, uh, you are a Saphir player, we could say that. Yes. You are, uh, love the Saphir in the in the Rebs faction, so maybe, uh, I don't know, she's a medic, but maybe you could use it as something else. She's a medic? Ew. Yeah. But. And then, I, I love the nameless guy, right? Is he nameless? The Fear, yeah. Damn. He's the first nameless, actually. Well, other than the Dreadball guys, but, you know, he's... Uh, yeah, he's looking pretty cool. And Hacker Halftail, look at, check this out, the stuff on the back. So, it, it's a little hard to see in the blue, but I guess when, once it's painted, it's gonna look great. I like that he's got a little, little iPad over here, he's got the crappy ray pistol, but he does have uh, rules for Warpath and Firefight, and he's there. This guy, I don't know who he is, what he is, I don't know what he is. He but looks kinda cool. Yeah, he looks kinda cool. They're gonna send us, that's part of Wave 2, so we got the model now, card later. But yeah, I'm loving these. What do you think? Looking pretty sweet. Loving Blaine, obviously. Looking beautiful. Yeah, Blaine's awesome. So yeah, I can't wait to uh, get these on the table. So guys, that was the Star Saga Wave 1 Kickstarter unboxing. I am just so excited to play this. Listen, Dungeon Saga, great game. I love being the necromancer in that. But then... You bring sci-fi into it, you bring our beloved Dead Zone models into it, make the game 100% better, I think. So I cannot wait to play this game. Awesome models, awesome cards. These cards, these cards are in, like, just so nice. They're in really nice shape, you know, here. And I love the back. What about awesome. the, uh, the uh, tiles? That we're the tiles, use? yeah. The tiles are really nice. They're really, really It nice. looks like there's a little bit less in this than in Dungeon Saga, I think, I don't know, but we'll have to see, but it look, looks like there's a little bit less than in this than in Dungeon Saga, I don't know, because when we were playing, there was so many tiles, this right. doesn't look like that much. Yeah, but I, you know what though, it didn't look that like that much, and then we, we broke it apart and it was more, so yeah. it was uh, it was really cool. I can't wait to play, because he's usually the Nexus player, and he likes being a Nexus player because he likes to really mess with the... <laughs> Mess with the guys. Yeah, I like screwing you guys over. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. So it's like you know we're about to complete the mission. Like, oh no, you know, here's seven more zombies pop out of nowhere. So yeah, that's that's what. It's you just do. how I am. All right. So now, what's next? For us, we're gonna read all the books. We're gonna go through this. We're gonna start painting. We're gonna start um, doing it all. But I think we're gonna do some battle reports, Star Saga battle reports, with the unpainted models to show you. If you're just getting this game, you throw it on the table and use it right away. So I think that's next. Also, we have a surprise coming for Star Saga, exclusively for Star Saga, but we're going to have to make you wait for that one. So I have a question for you. Okay. You know, these models are awesome. Mm -hmm. These characters are awesome. Right. Star Saga is awesome. Right. But will we be able to use them in Dead Zone? Okay. So every model that you see here, Every model that is here, even all these guys together, there will be rules for them for Dead Zone. Oh now, my god. That's going to happen. When it's going to happen, I'm not sure. But as of now, Rules Committee are hard at work at writing these things. So now, if you get Star Saga, you can use these guys with Dead Zone. And that's just, you know, for us, that's just... It's just, that's more, just dead zone there's more Dead Zone. There's more Dead Zone. More, more, more stuff for Star Saga, and also the terrain. Put it right into Dead Zone. We'll get some some doors up there, or you know, some some of those computer things. Ah, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. So th there's just so much cross. So Star Saga, Warpath, Firefight, Dead Zone, the, the mixing together, and also, even though for Dead for for Dreadball, you might not be able to use some of these guys, but the Warpath universe is all there. So it's just. It just, it just really is awesome. Yeah, loving the stuff here. I cannot, I just can't stress this enough. I can't wait to play this game. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start tonight. Ah. We're starting tonight. All right, guys. If you liked the video, please like. Got any questions? Comment down below and subscribe for more gaming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.